Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all colors, races, and places. Welcome to something I thought about for a very long time. I, I think I'm going to do this. I am going to do my top eight of favorite Army Men of Warfare videos that I've made. These aren't videos that have the most views or I put the most effort in. Instead, I I'm going off of purely entertainment in my mind. I love each and one of these, and they are my top 10. I want to point out, I'm not going to go from 10 to number 1, because I feel like these ones um, all are very different, and I can't really base it off of just what I like more or less. These will all just be, uh, how do you say, good. And my top 8. So, let's begin. At number 8, we have Army Men of Warfare Season 3, Part 16. The Battle for the Red Square, Reznov, Hero of Redingrad. This one I love for many reasons. For the first time ever, we have a hero in our series. A man who kind of stands out, who takes the charge and kind of takes the lead. He's knocked unconscious at the end of the battle, but the battle for the Red Square is very crazy. And that intro, oh, the intro. Sure, maybe my microphone wasn't the best in Season 3, but you know what? I feel like this was kind of the first episode where that spark turned into a flame. And Army Men of Warfare really took off. <laughs> Funny enough, coming in at number 7, now I want to point out this isn't a value system, just, just like I said beforehand, this is just random, but I like this one. At number 7, we have Army Men of Warfare Season 3, Part 18, A New Ally, Question Mark, Tan and Blue. This is the first time we're seeing Erwin Tanning, aka the Black Hawk. He has a very specialized army that's all about armor. Almost every single one of his tanks, and considerably light tanks, are tigers, and him himself drives around this absolutely crazy tank. Crazy, crazy, crazy sized tank. Interestingly enough, he has a very, very, very big trade deal with Blue Tanninger, and we've known Blue Tanninger for quite a while. He has been a hero, but he's not like a hero hero like he's not the one that fights off in the battles he usually stays in the back he worked out a deal to trade a ton of men in plastic in order to help stop the tan in green war of course he used those men in plastic to cause a massive civil war but of course he's evil down to the bone and he just wanted to rule over the tans themselves he promised he would end the war between the Greens and Tans so that the Greens would help. The Blues versus the Reds. Didn't really work out that way, but you know what? It's an interesting fellow. It's a very interesting battle. Coming in at number 6. Army Men of War Season 2 Part 16 The Battle for the Island. This one was a favorite just because of how goddamn hard it was to record this. I had to record it like six times. I, my mic wasn't working the first time. The second time, I, the game crashed. The third time, somehow, um, 
I think it crashed again. The fourth time I had microphone problems and then I broke the, the cable that connects to my computer and then to my headphones because I thought that was the problem and so on and so forth. But I, I love it because it, it, it's a really good battle. In this battle, we see a massive green attack against the Tan Island. And it's really chaotic. It's amazing because I really enjoy all the, the, the scenery was amazing. I really need to get back to those nice open battlefields. Coming in at number five, I have Army Men of War, part 12, The Red Tunnel. I made this one a year ago, but like, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I took my Army Men of Warfare, which used to be called Army Men of War back in the day, to a much more close and personal battle. Blue Tanninger, our first hero, finds a, a hidden base. He goes into this tunnel with his tanks and men, and although the tanks can't, can barely get anywhere, his men come swarming in and they are just pinned down. And so Blue Tanninger takes maybe two squads of men, flanks around, comes around, and he's fighting off all these men. It's intense, it's close, it's 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 personal. It it's the first time we've ever been like something like this in the series. And then the blues discover the KV Super. The super heavy tank. The first ever super heavy tank in the series and then of course blue tanninger blows the hell out of the entire uh tunnel but man oh man i loved it i loved it the bits it had to be my favorite of season one i recommend it a, a big time coming in at number four we have army men of war part four hold the lines greens this one I love because of how big it is. This was probably one of my more bigger, bigger battles. And I think it was actually kind of one of the first big battles. The Tans are coming in with crazy, 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 crazy amount of infantry and tanks, men, and a metal king tiger. Well, the Greens only had basically bazooka men and uh shermans and i think they had one blue blue prince a very very heavy tank and they had to hold off till reinforcements arrived and honestly those reinforcements could not come any faster they came at like the perfect time the whole left flank was gone it was really just the last green men they just lost the Blue Prince. And then the first ever time we're gonna see the green heavy tank, the Pershing, come into play. It was beautiful, I, I loved it, I loved it to death. This one was like, mm. Coming in at number three, Army Men of War, fair. Well, I forgot to rename it, but I could still call it Army Men of War. Season two, part eight, the battle for the city. This one was probably one of my more heavier viewed videos, and I think I know why. The battle for this city was so intense. The blues were just coming in, and the reds had to be desperately defended. The battle is sporadic. There's fighting all over the place. And it, honestly, it's probably one of my more favorite ones, and I think it's also one of my more favorite in the views. I uploaded this like almost a year ago, basically a year ago, September 18th. So like, yeah, basically almost a year ago. And it was pretty high up there. The intro I put on that video, the music, the sounds, it was good. Honestly, I really enjoyed this battle. This was an absolute amazing battle. I really recommend you guys all just check it out. It, it's just mwah. At number two, we have Army Men of Warfare Season 3, Part 10. Crazy uphill battle, fear the Legion. 
This one was probably the most craziest one I think I've ever had. Now, I've had many crazy battles. To be honest, all the battles are crazy. But this one struck fear in the fact of the Legion. Now the Legion, if you don't know the history, they're all split apart. They're a long since gone forgotten nation, uh, purple nation. But what made them scary was their war machines. And in this war machine, we have a vassal, just, just monster of a tank coming up over the hill, coming down and just destroying the greens and silvers. It was just downright terrifying. And they tried everything. They launched hundreds of rockets at it. They sent tank after tank, only to be completely annihilated. This was the first ever time the idea of killing something so big and so strong came in. Like, this one probably was my favorite in season three. Man, oh man, I loved that. I just, I loved it. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. You know what, we're gonna do a part 10. I, I'm sorry, but I, I have to add a couple more here. So we're gonna move that back up to three. We still have two more left instead of one more left. Coming in at number two of the part 10, Army Men of Warfare, Season 2, Part 13, Massive City Battle, Part 1 of Part 2. This one was intense in the fact that we got to see the tanks coming in with their massive metal king tigers, and they're just, they're coming in, and they are just pushing through the green lines. This one was probably the most cinematic out of all my Army Men of Warfare ones. I loved it. I loved it to death. It was, wow! It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. I think they lost one of the tigers, and so they had to rely on the infantry to push up and take out this like rocket launcher in order for the tank to move up. Man, oh man, it was, it was good. I honestly loved that battle. That was the most cinematic, uh, beautiful viewing simple but yet elegant battle. Okay, so I have a lot for number one. And, uh, and that was between Army Men of Warfare, Season 4, Part 4, A Daring and Explosive Rescue, and Army Men of War Mod, Part 1. This mod is sick, epic battle. These two, uh, I am very much stuck in. Uh, honestly, these two are both my favorite in a way, and allow me to explain. In Army Men of Warfare Season 4 Part 4, a daring and explosive rescue, I loved this mission the most, strictly due to the fact of just, just how insane it is. A mere, what, five, six mech dreadnoughts coming in and, with a basilisk behind, a blue basilisk behind them. And they're just coming in and just destroying all these purple orc legionaries. And they are just absolutely devastating. We've seen these purple orc legionaries just destroy. They just completely destroyed the greens in the last episode. And then these dreadnoughts come in and just, just gun everything down. And then the Bastlift comes in, blows open the gate. All these green boys come out and they rescue them. It's absolutely intense. It's just, it's so intense. And then for the other one, let me, let me go back here. We have Army Men of War mod, part one. This mod is sick. This was the spark. This was the spark that lit the fire. This was the one where it all began. The tans invaded the greens, and it was just the greens, and it was just the tans. There was nothing else, nobody else. It was just tans, and they had their superior tanks versus greens, and they had the superior numbers. And that was where it all started.
this is where I installed this mod and I uploaded it and here we are. Honestly, like, I'm gonna put them both down. I just, I can't decide. I can't decide between them both. That is my top eight. That is actually a 10 plus one of my Army Men of Warfare videos. What are your top 10 videos? Take your time. Watch each one if you want. Or if you already have a top 10, go right ahead. By all means, guys, link it down below. I I'd love to hear your top 10 because then I can go and rewatch those videos, maybe get an idea and continue with that, that, that idea of how to make that type of video. Anyway, I will see you next time. Take care, guys.